Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Chile, New Mexico. As the title says, you can see we are COVID free and we are back to work. Couldn't be more happier about that. I'll tell you what, COVID was nasty. Here we are, we got three trucks. We've got to get up there near Des Moines, Iowa, those two. And this one here going to Peru, Illinois. We're gonna do a quick safety check. Well, hello again. town of Tularosa, New Mexico, slowly starting to get light out, got you in my pocket, so for all you safety people, I am not holding my phone, <laughs> you gotta worry about stuff like that these days, someone sees these videos and they like, comment and get over like, uh, you're not supposed to be doing that while you're driving. Yes, you are right. And I'm not. It's in my pocket. So, we're going to go through the little town of Tolerosa up here. Check it out. yesterday coming through the state of New Mexico. Now I do have my political rants all the time. This isn't one of them except that I will say that I cannot believe that the rest of the states in this country are are opening back up. I walked into the Buffalo Wild Wings to get some dinner last night and have a beer and big old sign on the side of the of the their property says you know now dining in now open for for inside dining so i go in expecting to be able to get up to the bar and you know, i was wanting to watch the facebook live on uh, sunshine state racing watch the racing while i was having some dinner and i go in there and they have literally only five tables open in the entire place. I, I couldn't believe it. And then I, then I realized where I was. And I said, oh my God. I can't believe that we still have a governor or two, or maybe more, I'm not real sure yet. I have just got back to work. That still are holding their states hostage for this COVID virus. 
and this nonsense. When we have states like Florida, Texas, South Dakota, and that was the whole town of Tularosa, by the way. <laughs> Not very big. Anyway, I, I, I just can't, I can't believe that people in some of these states, I guess my headlights are kind of high. This brand new truck, there's nothing I can do about it. Um, I can't believe that, that people are being, you know, in my terms, held hostage like this still. Uh, yeah, I agree. Catching the virus is not a good thing. I get it. I had it. I survived it. But I, mean, I, don't, I don't wish it on anybody. Don't get me wrong. Anyway, that's enough of that. So I should have went the different route. There was a different route I could have gone. I could have spent last night in Texas. I chose this route because I wanted to try to get up here to my first drop for Monday morning. And then hopefully deliver this truck on Tuesday. Uh, first thing Tuesday morning and then be able to get over to Chicago to catch a flight. Hopefully to Dallas, get another trip of something. Or see what comes up for other equipment on Monday's list and go from there. I could have went through Texas. Um, states, I went to, um, when I stayed last night in Tucson, or I mean, I'm sorry, not last night, night before last, in Tucson, Arizona, I went into a Texas Roadhouse and they were at least, if not more, but the bar, they didn't have every seat at the bar available, but they were at least 75% capacity. Um, Texas, same way, you know, obviously, Florida. I know Florida. I don't think Florida has any limitations except the, unless it's the company, you know, doing it themselves, which is their prerogative, obviously. But I could have went a different way, so I didn't know, but I'll know next time. It's a shame that you have to, but one of the things that early on, before I got to COVID and I had to stay lay out of work for a while until I got better, the biggest thing that bothered me about all this COVID was with people, essential uh, employees, essential workers in my position, we had no consistency whatsoever between the states. Very, very hard to deal with in a way. And then especially funny, one day I'm in, I'm in Portland, Maine, getting a hotel room and the lady says she can't rent a room to me because I'm from Florida. Unbelievable, but anyway, I, I I pulled out my essential services letter and says yes, I'm allowed to be here no matter what my driver's license says. And she did rent a room to me, and everything was fine. But it's just unreal that stuff like that happens. So anyway, I'm out here on this dark two-lane road. Sun's slowly coming up. So we will see you. I uh, will probably have to get fuel. in Tucum Carry. If I can make it to Stratford, Texas, I will. Uh, but anyway, uh, we'll see you at the fuel stop. Talk to you then. Well, good morning, everyone. As you can see, I fast-forwarded and didn't record anything during the day yesterday. Quite boring, actually, except for these pins on such smooth roads keep jumping out. Not good. Uh, well, I hope y'all doing good. I drove 654 miles yesterday. And quite honestly, felt like it was 2,000. <laughs> I just, the roads are so bad on these spring ride. Stuff down here. Um, we'll put the light on. Here. There we 
we go. See how many lights we got out today? We got a couple. Well, I'm gonna be able to edit a good bit of this. This coffee smells horrible. I have no idea how long it was sitting there. The only reason I got it was to heat up a little bit I got left from yesterday. <laughs> uh, that remind me of put some fuel in here today before I deliver these trucks. Yep, still the same light out, so that's good. Doesn't get any worse. So they'll be gone later today. So it's got to last seven more hours I guess till I get up there uh, it's currently like 3 a.m. something like that 4 a.m. I don't know it's early. Uh, all right we'll check stuff out a minute ago oh so I forgot about this pin up here it wants to jump out I don't know if I can reach it oh. already put the mark on the bumper Red Roof Inn of Wichita, Kansas. Talk with y'all when I stop the field. Hey everybody, Skip here again. Uh, I'm going to finish up this vlog. I know it's been going on for a couple days. Uh, we were in Alamogordo, New Mexico the other morning. Uh, so now we're leaving Peru, Illinois, headed to O'Hare. Uh, as you can see, we're in the, we're in the car. Mr. Bill's helping me out, taking me there. Um, so I'm going to get this one posted. Please like and subscribe. We appreciate it. Uh, we'll be back. I got a uh, special surprise later on today. I'm going to be uh, recording my flight from O'Hare to Dallas. So stay tuned and look forward to that one. See ya.